the sacred island of Okinoshima and associated sites in the Munakata region. Comprised of the religious sites that make up the three shrines of Munakata Taisha, Okitsumiya on Okinoshima, which sits 60 kilometers off the coast of Fukuoka Prefecture, Nakatsumiya on Oshima, and Hetsumiya on mainland Kyushu, it is now a World Heritage Site consisting of the Yohaisho Worship Hall and the tombs of the Munakata clan where they once performed rituals. Japanese culture expert Robert Campbell and I, Lemmy Duncan, traveled to this mystical World Heritage Site revered since ancient times by the people in the Munakata region, and now we'll share it with you. The Mysterious World Heritage in Japan Episode 2 Munakata Taisha Shrine, Nakatsumiya We are at Kono Minato Ferry Terminal to head to Oshima, where Nakatsumiya Shrine is. Mm, Lemmy, I'm really looking forward to this. I've never been here before. How about you? No, no, me neither. It's my first time. It's a beautiful morning. Everybody's on the boat ready to go, so let's take off. Okay, let's go. It is a 25-minute ferry ride from Konominato port on the Kyushu mainland to the Oshima port on Oshima, home to Nakatsumiya Shrine. I'm really happy that the weather is really nice today. Yeah, it's beautiful. We actually might be able to see Okinoshima today. That's right. We're on the island, which is just right off the coast of the main island of Kyushu. And then there's another island further out in the ocean, which is called Okinoshima. Okinoshima. Right. Mm -hmm. And that's where we can sort of look at the ocean. But we, we can look at the island, but we can't actually go out there. We can't right? actually go, right, because it, it's sacred. It's sacred. It's a sacred yeah. island. And this is a really sacred island here, mm. too, right? There's a shrine. Yes. Here yes. it's called. Nakatsumiya? Nakatsumiya. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's here as well. So we can sort of explore that and see how this sort of sort of spiritual culture connects uh -huh. with all of this fishing right. culture I, I am that's interested. around here as well. Look at that, that's beautiful. So this is Nakatsumiya. After a five-minute walk from the port, we arrived at Munakata Taisha Nakatsumiya Shrine. It just feels really good. Oh, we did it. Wow, look at that. Oh, that's a nice view. That's beautiful. Ah, hello. Ah, hello. This is pretty... Hello, how do you do? Hi. ここはですね、村方三十神の橋渡しと言いますか、ちょうどいろんなお祭りのですね、取り次ぎ明けをしている神社でございます。ここ中津宮でもですね、周期大祭というのが行われておりまして、そちらがですね、昨日、今年は10月12日に行われましたが、毎
You're a, f a fisherman by profession, right? Why is it important for fishermen and people who fish here to take care of this and to nurture the shrine here? Your boats are faster now, and innovation has allowed you to, you know, to be confident that you're going to you'll make it back safe. But the fact that you're here and helping out with the shrine almost every day, it sounds like the gods here, the the, the sacred sort of space here, is something that's still important to people on the island. Have you felt that in your own life that you've you've asked for something or 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 prayed for something to a problem to, to, to be solved in your life? Do you have you have you ever felt that it's really been answered to you by by your work and your prayer and your and the time that you spent here? Mm. Oshima, where Nakatsumiya is located, has a thriving fishing industry, so the shrine's fortune telling omikuji is in the shape of fishing for sea bream. We tried it for ourselves. Yes! Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That's great. Ah, you got you caught a red one, it's enormous. Pull that out. Whoa. Put that down. Wow. So I guess this means that we're both lucky. Yeah, really, really lucky. That's great. And we've got these little fish with us as well. Yes, they're so cute. <laughs> We then walked for 30 minutes along the mountain path up to the island's highest point, the Mount Mitake Observation Deck. Wow, look at this, mm. isn't it beautiful? So that's the, uh, the main island of Kyushu right there with all of these islands. Oh, that's islands. the main island? Yeah. And that, isn't that where we were over there before? Takamiya sort of worshipping grounds? Oh, is that it? Yeah, right over in that the direction. The white area? Yeah, just beyond that island, maybe. Oh, okay. We also paid our respects at Mitake Shrine, just up the steps from the observation deck. In ancient times, open-air rituals were held here, just like at Okinoshima and the Takamiya Saijo ceremonial site at Hetsumiya. The whole area behind the shrine that we've just sort of prayed to here is was one of the ancient worshipping areas, a sort of altar oh. to prayer uh, for, for safety on the sea, for abundant you know, fish catching and things like that from hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years ago. This so. must have been a or is still a very special place for fishermen. Yeah, for fishermen and everyone in the village uh, down below us. We walked 40 minutes down the mountain, arriving on the other side of the island at the Okitsumiya Yohai Sho. Okinoshima, the central location to the Munakata faith, can be worshipped here from afar as the general public is not allowed on the island. Oh, it's so beautiful. It's surrounded yeah. by so much nature. The mountains and the ocean. So this really looks like an ancient sort of site. You can mm -hmm. imagine maybe there were like buildings here like hundreds and hundreds of yes. years ago and people worshipping. It's kind of beautiful that way. The trees are really beautiful and they're growing so low. Yeah, they're really because of the uh, of the wind coming in from the ocean. Oh, okay. There's really, really strong winds mm -hmm. here. The currents here are really, really strong, which is why it's such a, a, a sort of fertile, wonderful sort of place for for oh, for for fish and, and ocean resources and stuff like that, but it brings in incredibly strong sort of wind as well.
There's a spot that we can climb up and, and maybe see the island okay. that we've just sort of worshipped on the other okay. side of the sea. This little, this little spot here is, is, is set up so that maybe on a good day we can see Okinoshima, which is far out on the ocean, okay. on the sea. Hopefully we get to Yes, hopefully to, today is one of so. those good days. through there. Ah, oh, there it is right over there. Where? Wow, there's that sort of little mound right over there. Oh. Sort of sticking out. Under the white cloud. Right oh, to there. the right. Yeah, to the right. Of it. Oh, That's I can it. see it. See? Yeah. That's it. Wow. The sacred island. The sacred island of Okinoshima. Wow. That's great. I got to see it. Mm. We asked an island resident for a recommendation for a restaurant serving lunch and found ourselves here. Hello, hello, hello. There are two of us, is that okay? Hello, hello, hello. Wow. This is beautiful. This is amazing. At this cafe run by a fisherman and his wife, the very reasonably priced lunch features fresh fish, shellfish, and seaweed caught off the coast of the island and vegetables grown on the island. This is, um, we call it sazae, turban shell mm. in English. And it's this, this shell, this sort of shellfish right here is from the shell itself. I just want to eat it plain first. Mm. Mm. It's completely different mm -hmm. from the seaweed that you were talking about. Dry I didn't seaweed know seaweed was this crunchy. But it's really, it's really, really soft mm -hmm. and sort of tender. Mm. Tender, really, really easy to eat. And it doesn't have a strong sort of pungent sea flavor. No, it it's doesn't. It's really delicate. It's very, very... The, um, the shrines that we visited, the sacred worshipping spots, are very, very special to the people on the island here. We've learned about that, we've, we've yes. felt that very, very much. Is it? And the name of this cafe is Himeko, right. but where, where does that come from? Himeko is the name of no. The daughters of the goddess. Thank you so much for this wonderful lunch. We really enjoyed it, and I wish that I could have a lunch like this every day, if I could be honest. Standing on top mm -hmm. of the mountain, right in the center of this of this island, where all of the sort of ceremonies, ancient ceremonies, were, were held, uh, you know, thinking about and praying for the gods here and at mm -hmm. Okinoshima, we were able to sort of really sort of feel vicariously, uh -huh. you know, what it what it must have been like, you know, before there was technology, right. electricity, or anything else like this, hundreds and hundreds of years mm -hmm. ago. That was really really amazing. And also, this island is the embodiment of one of the three goddesses. That are mm. either that are prayed for and enshrined here, that sort of connect these these three places out into the ocean, and it was really really uh, wonderful, I think, for us to sort of, to feel how the islanders here themselves right. connect with these. It's so places. that concept in itself is so unique, and I've never heard of it anywhere else. I really felt like we got to know the local culture and the local yeah. people a bit more. It's day two, and you know, I, I just feel like there's so much respect for nature perhaps because of the lifestyle. Yeah. You know, the ocean uh, outside, away from the, from the main island of Kyushu here, is really turbulent. It's mm. a really, really mm. rough sea. And all of the, the fishermen here, together with their families, um, constantly were, were praying you know, for mm. safety. 
abundance from the ocean. And I think we were able to sort of feel that just by talking to the fishermen, talking to the woman in, in the cafeteria. Yes, It yes. was amazing. Just even by having that lunch, we were able to learn so much. And I just thought it was so amazing that all those things were locally produced. Everything had come out from the, from the ocean that we right, were looking at. from there. <laughs> from fresh seaweed, which is sustainable. It's uh -huh. not cultivated, it's sustainable. Mm. It's something that they're very, very careful mm. to sort of promote and to be able to pass on their uh -huh. environment, which supports all of the people here. And that's all connected right. to, the, to the religion mm. uh, that, that allows this place, that makes this place to be a world heritage. This mm. Munakata um, Shrine heritage is something that's really alive still today. It's, you have right. this, this feeling of faith that's connected mm. really, really to, to daily life and to welcoming people and to connecting with other people in the world as well. And tomorrow, mm. we finally will get to see Okinoshima. From a distance. From a distance, but closer, uh, closer. But closer. That's great. Yeah, I can't wait. This is the course that we took today.